How do babies breathe in the womb? Babies don't breathe in the womb as we understand breathing. Instead, babies rely on their mother's breathing to receive oxygen to their developing organs. After nine months of growing inside of a mother's womb, a baby undergoes a complicated physical transition as they exit the womb. Research shows this transition is one of the most intricate things our body will ever do. While babies practice breathing in utero, their lungs aren't used for breathing until they take their first breath outside the womb. The placenta and umbilical cord are organs that enable a developing baby to get everything it needs from its mother. This includes oxygen. Every breath that the mother takes brings oxygen into her bloodstream. The placenta carries oxygen to the placenta and then to the umbilical cord to the baby. During weeks 10 and 11 of pregnancy, the developing fetus will start to inhale tiny bits of amniotic fluid. This inhalation is more like a swallowing movement. It helps the baby's lungs as they begin to develop. By the 32nd week of pregnancy, a baby will begin to practice breath-like movements, less like swallowing and involve compression and expanding the lungs. Even though the baby's lungs aren't fully developed at 32 weeks, there is a good chance a baby born at this stage could survive outside the womb. The breathing practice is a developmental milestone that takes the new baby up for success during their first cry. The baby's lungs are considered mature at 36 weeks. By then, a baby has had at least four weeks of breathing practice. Around the 40-week mark of pregnancy, the baby's body is ready to make the transition out of the womb and into the world. During labor, the mother's uterus will contract and retract. This causes her to feel intense sensations that signal the baby is coming. The contractions squeeze the baby, moving it into position to exit the birth canal. The contractions also serve to push amniotic fluid out of the baby's lungs, preparing them to breathe. The seal between the baby and the outside breaks when the mother's water breaks. The baby may get exposure to oxygen during the birth process, but as long as the baby is still connected to its mother through the placenta via the umbilical cord, it's not essential that the baby try to breathe yet. Within a few moments after birth, the baby will take a sharp inhale and breathe for the first time on their own. This inflation of the lungs brings oxygen into the baby's bloodstream without the mother's help 